God bless you, global Christian friends. Leaves don't usually fall directly to the ground from their abutment because of wind dynamics, but if they grew less than an inch to the ground and are unimpeded by wind dynamics and have, have narrow body mass, they might fall directly to the ground. And even that is uncertain for reasons which can fill volumes. We look at the son of man and God being glorified in him. And uh, Jesus himself had said, uh, if God be glorified in him, he shall glorify him and straightway glorify him. And uh, we see that such was the case, uh, that he was straightway glorified, and you'll understand that shortly. But you may ask the question, why shouldn't God be glorified in the Son of Man when the angels of God are ascending and descending upon him? And that's John 151. Would you trust your angels upon someone who would not glorify you? I don't think that you should or would. Especially since he put no trust in his servants and his angels uh, he charged uh, with folly. That's Job 4.18. And he put no trust in his saints. Job 15 and uh, 15. Now, don't attempt to show God your great earthly works and accomplishments in a heavenly environment or in a heavenly setting. How can any work of man whatsoever on earth compare with the temporal wonders of God uh, displayed anywhere throughout the cosmos. You heard Jesus say in Matthew 6, 29, and yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these lilies uh, of the field. And you think about this statement and why God uh, should glorify the Son of Man. In verse 34, John 13, 34, Jesus said, A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you that ye also may love one another. And he said in verse 35, By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if and when ye have love one to another. Now, unless you do these things of Luke chapter 14, uh, and uh, 26, he said, you cannot be my disciple unless you do those kind of things. But when you love here, in John 13, 34, and 35, uh, he said, all men know that ye are my disciples. So we have two ways here of the possibility of being his disciple and the assured way 
of all men knowing that ye are my disciple. Now verse 36, Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, whither goest thou? Jesus answered him and said, whether I go, thou canst not follow me, but thou shalt follow me afterwards. And that word afterward has great uh, suspensions about it. We'll get into that later on. God said the same in the course. Peter said unto him, Lord, in verse 37, why cannot I follow thee now? Here come the bombshell. I will lay down my life for thy sake. Well, they all said the same thing in Mark chapter 14, verse 31. But in Mark chapter 14, verse 50, they all forsook him and fled. <laughs> Think about that statement. They all said, we will lay down our life for your sake. Mark 14, 31. But in 1450, they all forsook him and fled. Poor son of man. John 13, 38. Jesus answered him, Will thou lay down thy life for my sake? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, the cock shall not crow till thou hast denied me thrice. And look at this statement. We said that there is knowledge that God do not just give out to anybody. You have to be of a particular cloth. And, uh, a special kind. Uh, I love verse 33. He said, little children, yet a little while I am with you. Ye shall seek me, and as I said unto the Jews, whether I go, ye cannot come. So now I say unto you. Now I love that statement. Here grown men, grown apostles, chief apostles, and he called them little children. That's just like the Lord. Uh, that's just like him. Grown men, men that will do miracles and signs and wonders, and to him they are little children. Think about that statement in uh, verse 33. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And that's where that new commandment uh, followed. Whereby all men know, K-N-O-W, that ye are my disciples. And that's what it's all about. Now, going over into chapter 14, he tell them, uh, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, uh, believe also in me. And we will get into that and start there the next time, uh, Global Christian Friends, uh, as we go forth in the Lord. We love you. Amen.